All right, folks, so what we have here is the Olight S2A Baton Flashlight. I want to open this package up, take a look at the flashlight, and then we'll do some beam tests later on in the video. But before we do that, why don't you go grab yourself a nice cold one, come on back, and we'll get started. All right, let's go ahead and open this package up. Alright, the first thing we have is the flashlight itself, and that's held in by these rubber bands when these things ship. You want to be careful not to break that, because I think this is used as a spare o-ring. Looks like it's tangled up a little bit here in the pocket clip. There we go, we got that off. Comes with an instruction manual or user guide. It comes with an Olight branded lanyard. These are adjustable. And these lanyards come with this little pin right here. Hopefully you can see that. And what that's used for is to feed the lanyard through the hole in the back of the flashlight. So you can go ahead and you can, you can add this lanyard to the flashlight. Alright, so let's just talk a little bit about the flashlight. It has an aluminum body, aluminum uh, be uh, bezel up here, and it has aluminum tail cap. But it also has this silicon uh, grip that is applied to the flashlight which uh, gives it a nice uh, rubbery really grippy texture and then the interface button is right here like most of these uh, baton series flashlights some people say this is hard to find or hard to uh, to locate in the dark so one of the things that I do is I'll actually put the pocket clip 180 degrees on the other side from the button so that way it indexes in my hand and I have it Let's go ahead and take this uh, plastic out of here. Um, this flashlight ships with two batteries. We'll take a look at them. It runs on two AA batteries. It has this little piece of plastic in there so that the flashlight, the batteries don't drain. But it comes with these Olight. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. They come with these Olight branded AA batteries. Uh, they're marked lithium. They are not rechargeable, so do not recharge them. They are lithium iron, not ion. Um, batteries. Now you can run this off of two alkaline AA batteries or two nickel metal hydrate batteries. Alright, so now we have the flashlight reassembled. We can go over here. Um, one thing I'll show you real quick is, is that two quick taps go instant on to turbo mode. Let's turn it off. And then uh, three quick taps will take you to a, to a strobe SOS mode. Like that. Go ahead and turn it off. Now when you turn this flashlight on, it does have a memory mode where it will resume where it was last left off. And that's turbo because we were just using turbo. Um, at, on turbo, and I'll roll in a graphic now that shows the different uh, lumens depending upon the type of battery that you have and what mode you're on. But it has thermal uh, protection on here, so when you go into turbo mode, it will only stay at turbo for about, I think it's three minutes, and then it will step down to about 220 uh, lumens. But that depends on the batteries and the strength of the batteries that you have in there. So this would be the low or the firefly mode. This is, this is low. Um, this would be medium. This would be high. And then that would be, oh, go ahead, right back down. And then, like I so said, I just turned it off turn it back on and it has memory. Alright, what we want to do now is we want to go outside and uh, we're going to do some beam shots. So I'll be back with you in a little bit. Alright, so we're going to do some beam shots. And uh, here we start off with the moonlight mode. And you get that with the long press. And as you can see, it's not really that bright. So let's go up to the low setting. Medium. High. And then there's the turbo. You can take a look and see how bright that is. I think the turbo is a little bright for just general usage. This is the low setting. I would probably use something like the medium if I was going to do an inspection on something. This flashlight has, I think it's a TIR lens, which allows 90% uh, of the 
LED output to come through the lens and it makes for a really nice floody beam. So let's go do some more longer distance beam shots. Alright, so let's start off with the moonlight mode. And it doesn't really make much of a difference. It's pretty pretty low setting. And there it is on low. You maybe see something up closer. We got some dogs barking. There's medium. That shoots out pretty well. It's a really floody beam. Uh, it's not much of a thrower. That would be high. The street down there past the sidewalk is at about 25, 20 to 25 yards, I would ex uh, assume. And then this would be your turbo mode. And remember, there's a step down built in here. So, it works really well as a nice EDC flashlight with a very floody throw, or I should say a floody beam, that allow you to, uh, to see a wide area up close. So all in all, this is a pretty nice little flashlight. It's very easy to carry. It's uh, got a small size, runs on two AA batteries. Uh, just for comparison, this is a Phoenix LD20. This is a little bit older flashlight, but as you can see, the size difference. This is a AA flashlight as well. So this has a really nice form factor. Some people might complain about it being tip-up carry, but I don't really find that to be a problem. And some people will worry uh, when you have tip-down carry that you could accidentally uh, turn your flashlight on. Let's just run through the modes again one more time because I like to do that.